Hi, I'm here with Sam from the Connect Congregation. Sam has got uh, a good future and some exciting things happening in his life. I'm just doing a quick interview with him just to find out a little bit more about what he's up to over the next year or so. Yeah. So Sam, do you want to just tell us what you're doing and where you're going over the next few months? Um, well, I'm going to the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo for a year with a, a Christian organisation called CMS. I'm um, hoping to go work out there with uh, five churches running the youth groups out there. Fantastic. That's a big step to go all the way over yeah. to Congo. What's kind of, how's God led you to make that big decision? Well, I had a real uh, prophetic uh, so showing from God where he just said, right, Sam, I want you to go to the Congo. And it was, I woke up one morning in, uh, in August and God just said, go to Soul Survivor. And uh, after a little bit of disobedience, I finally went to Soul Survivor, got there. God completely opened the door for me. My name was on a list of people to go in. Uh, so I went straight into the, the uh, tool shed where you buy your resources and stuff. And uh, a, a girl, a random girl I've never seen before, just approached me and said, uh, is your name Sam? I, I don't know why, but I really feel that God's calling you to go do mission work in the Congo. So I basically followed that calling, which is clearly from God. And I, well, I'm now on my way to go in in October. Fantastic. And so you go in October. And when you get there, do you know kind of some of the details you mentioned a little bit? But do you know kind of what are the things, what areas you're going to be involved in there? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be, as I said, I'm going to be working with roughly five churches, uh, coordinating all of the youth which is from about the age of 13 to 35 oh, okay. uh, running activities like football just getting like the spirit of God out there as a message I'll be working with uh, kids who have been trained in wars that kind of thing because mm -hmm. it's obviously quite a war torn country yeah. and just basically just whatever God wants me to do I'm ready to you know just accept it and just go for it really fantastic this is a huge step Sam and as a church we're like 100% behind That's this really but what can we do? What are some of the practical things or spiritual things that we can do to really help you as you take this big step? Well, I really need prayer. Like a uh, prayer consistently while I'm gone would be much mm -hmm. appreciated because I'm, I'm, you know, there are quite a lot of worries. Like I don't know anyone out there. The, the language is going to be difficult to come across and all that, all those kind of things. But also financially is a real benefit because I'm, I'm going out there for a year and it's fully. I've got to fully fund myself the whole time. Um, so I'm doing sponsored runs and all that, those kind of things, and I just need as much, you know, as much support from the church as I can really. Fantastic. Thank you, Sam. And if anyone there wants to, wants to be involved in helping and supporting Sam, contact the church office. We can sort out the money side, but also the prayer side. And all this is really valuable as we get behind this young man as he follows God's purpose for his life. Yes. Thank you.